Here at the Isaac Museum, we have a collection of vintage dolls, but this one is specifically kept in a cage separated from the other dolls. Um, so this doll was donated to us by Sandra Isaac, and what stands out about it is that it has stickiness on its skin, and it's really gross. But there's a phenomenon which is called sticky doll disease, which occurs in baby dolls and Barbies from the 1930s to the 1960s, roughly. The doll's skin oozes like this slimy substance, um, and some collectors of like vintage dolls have experienced it, and they ask like all over the internet, why does this happen? Well, many of these collectors ask the question, and a few researchers have concluded the root of this problem is chemical. And it's, it comes from the chemicals used to make the dolls. They believe that it has to do with the cellulose acetate that is used to make them. In the polymer, many of the toxic chemicals remained in the plastic even after the process of making them occurred. The acid begins to contaminate and dissolve the plastic and the fixtures inside the dolls that rotate their arms and legs. We call this sticky doll disease because this breakdown process can spread to other dolls and it's actually contagious, hence the cage built around these two dolls. The acetic acid, which is technically vinegar, um, can penetrate the dolls around it, which will start the stickiness all over again. Many of these dolls in the 30s to the, to the 50s or 60s were made with very low-grade plastics, which, after some time, would release toxins to children playing with them. And mothers would have this theory that um, the toxins would um, like harm their kids, and they would refrain letting their kids play with them because they put them in their mouths and all of that. Um, because there is a toxic chemical that comes out of it that mimics estrogen, which they believed if you had it too much in your system that it could um, cause like developmental problems in kids. Other toxins that released, were released were arsenic, sulfur, and even asbestos. Luckily today, our factories producing the plastic toys have solved the issue and they have pretty much eradicated the chemical problem. Um, but if you do happen to collect any of these dolls, you should keep them in their containers because they can, like, I don't know, like they can give you, um, like, some asbestos and they can, um, or they could, like, release the arsenic and all of that. So make sure you preserve them in their containers and handle them properly and make sure no kids are around so they don't put their mouths in them.